Hello. When was the last time you disagreed with a family member or with a friend? Disagreeing can be uncomfortable, but it is a normal part of life. The goal is not to avoid disagreement, but to learn how to disagree in a way that ensures that everyone feels heard and respected. Here are some tips to keep disagreements constructive, whether talking to a family member, a teacher, a friend, or even an acquaintance. Number one, don't make it personal. Just because someone disagrees with you does not mean that they think less of you as a person or that you should think less of them as a person. Number two, practice active listening. When you disagree with someone, it can be hard to not shut down or interrupt the other person. You can show someone you are actively listening through eye contact, paying full attention, and staying curious about what the other person is asking by asking them questions. Keep in mind that full attention also includes not looking at your phone or other electronic devices while they are talking. Number three, use I statements. For example, say, I think this way because, instead of, you are wrong for thinking this way because. This ensures that the conversation stays constructive and everyone feels respected. Number four, stay calm. Think about and plan what you wanna say before you say it. When we're upset, we are more likely to say things that we later regret or didn't really mean to say in the moment. If you sense yourself getting upset, walk away. Take some time to gather your thoughts before rejoining the conversation. Practicing these four tips can help everyone feel heard and respected, even in the face of disagreements.